Hey everyone, bullish trends have this uh, way of feeding upon themselves. And there's multiple reasons for that, of course. We have the animal spirits, we have the fundamentals, we have the structural tailwinds. And one of the ones that I just want to reiterate here today real quick is cybersecurity. This is, a, I think, a secular tailwind story. Cybersecurity, I think all of us can kind of reason why that would be a growing story, uh, a growth story over the course of time. This is a long-term weekly chart. You can see if you look at the bottom, the uh, what's called the X-axis, you can see this stretches all the way back to just before COVID. And we've basically been building this really large base. This is, again, purely a technical look at this now beyond having mentioned that there's obviously structural tailwinds here um but uh essentially we're, we're building this big base or we have built this big big base and now we're we've i think completed the the, the handle or the, the sort of the, the the consolidation phase in a more minor space basically throughout this year and it looks to me like we're going to start uh, have the ability to push higher now now if we zoom in a bit closer into the daily chart uh, we can start to see this a little bit more closely in terms of how sort of coiling up the stock is here or this ETF is in the near term. And you can see essentially, you know, any little, you know, break higher, he would get the stock into the 70s. And so I think this is something we don't want to fight. And if anything, I'd want to play this with the Tailwinds Palo Alto Networks, a stock that is within this space that uh, I think continues to act real well. Let's first look at this one here from the weekly chart. So we can see this and, you know, a bit of a different formation, but again, or, but obviously bullish trend. And again, from the daily chart here, again, real, real, real close up. As I'm recording this here, you can see that we are essentially uh, breaking or attempting to break out of a consolidation phase. So if you're looking for something that is sort of, you know, on the bullish side and, uh, and has tailwinds from a secular perspective, more than just, you know, your typical sort of one to two week swing trade. This, I think, is something that is quite interesting. Uh, bullish trends and trades and how we find them. I have a tool that I created that allows us to uh, plug in any stock, uh, particularly the major ones and ETFs into a tool to see whether it's in a bullish trend or a bearish trend. And gives us trades things along the way. If you ever receive stock ideas, ETFs, and you wanna see immediately whether they're in bullish trends or bearish trends and then get a trade alerts on it, have a look at this, uh, this discussion we're gonna have this week on that. I think it's uh, going to be fascinating for you to see. We'll see you there.